Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another week of Church at Home. I'm Kurt, and I have a different hat on this week. This is a very special hat. I call it my vacation hat. I only wear it when I'm getting ready to go on vacation. I'm not getting ready to go on vacation, but I'm wearing it just to show you guys. I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna have a great time this week at church at home. But before we get started, we need to go get our supplies, our paper, maybe some crayons, maybe some bubbles, so we can have a good time together, singing and laughing and learning. I'm gonna go get my stuff. I'll see you after you get your stuff. What? Whoa! Hello, everybody, hello. Oh, look, it's the Mimibi machine. But, 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 it's, uh oh, it's all in pieces. I know I can fix it. I will use the claw. But you got to help me know where to put each piece. Okay, let's start with this pink thing here. Okay, whoa, careful, careful, easy. There it goes, okay. Now, kids, help me, where do I put it? Where do I put it? Oh, does it go here? No? Okay, how about over here? No, maybe, oh, hold on, the joystick's broken, hold on. Oh, oh, on your right, yay! Good job, okay, next thing. Now, let's get the blue binoculars. Okay, where do we put them? Oh, let's put them up here. No, nothing to sit on. Oh, are they here? No, here? Tell me, oh, I think you're right. Yay, they fit! Good job, everybody. Okay, now, next, the giant spaghetti ball thing. Let's lift it, careful. Oh, it's heavy. Careful, careful. Where do I put it? On the, over here? Maybe in the middle. No, on the blue thing, no? The pink, no, oh. Let's put it right on top. Yay, you're right. Good job, everybody. Okay, one more thing. Let's get the spinny circle. Here we go, pick it up. Okay, move it, move it, no, here, up here, no, oh, I, I see that, no, definitely not there, how about the, how about there, yay, oh, here we go, uh-oh, oh, that, that wasn't right, that blew everything up, okay, let's try it again, okay, starting with the pink thing, here we go, lower, lower, and we got it. Okay, here we go. Now, move it over. No, no, here we go. Here? Put the one here. What do you think? Look for the shapes. I think it's a circle. No? Oh, here we go. You're right. Yay! Good job, kids. Okay, next thing. Let's go for the blue binoculars. Ready? Pick it up. Okay. The little but No, nope, nothing to sit on there. How about here? There? What do you think? Oh. Yay! Good job, kids! Yay! Back for the giant spaghetti ball! And pick it up. This is this is definitely uh, to the left. No, to the right. Oh, I don't know my left or right. Hold on. Move it over here. What do you think? Tell me, kids. I don't know. Up here? You think? Okay. Yay! Good job, everybody! Good job! Okay. There it goes. The spinning circle. Now, I know where this goes. It's definitely over here. No, up, up at here, here, down here. No, it's definitely not that. Down here. Okay, here we go. Whoop, we blew up again. Okay, we're going to try it again. Here comes the claw. Okay, and now it's going to lower. Here we go. Easy does it. Some of these things are fragile. Okay, there we go. Up, and what do you think, over here? What do you think, here? No, okay, how about in the circle? No, no. What about over here? You're right, yay! Okay, now, next, let's go back for the red binoculars. I just can't take the blue. Like me. No, wait, I'm green. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Find the right shape. Okay. Up here? No, no. Up over here? No. What do you think, kids? Tell me. Down here? You are right. Good job. Okay. Giant spaghetti ball helmet. Here we go. Up. Now, tell me where you think it fits. Look for the shapes. 
I'm right here? No? Okay. What do you think? Here? No? Oh! I think you're right! Yay! Okay, last thing. We are not going to blow up the machine this time. Here we go. Pick it up. Tell me where to put the spinning circle. Over here? What? Let's try it. Okay, I think maybe... Oh, good job, kids. You are right. The Mimobi machine is working. So now let's count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Spaghetti! Here we go. Party time. Well, I've got all my stuff. I'm ready for a great week of church at home. I hope you are too. Have fun. <laughs> Welcome back to Church at Home. I'm so excited that you're watching Church this week. My name is Michelle, and today we're learning about how we can tell others about Jesus with the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the special helper that God sent, and He makes us brave even at home. So let's sing about it with a song called Brave. I love this song because it reminds me of how powerful God is and how because He loves us so much, He wants to give us the power to tell other people about the love of Jesus as well. So let's all stand up and sing together. This song is called Brave. It's all about how God's love makes us brave. We're going to start by singing, No, I won't be afraid for you are with me. Let's go. No, I won't be afraid. You are with me.
singing. You can all sit down now. I love that song. It reminds us that with the Holy Spirit's help, we can be brave enough to tell other people about God's love. He will help us to be brave. And you know what? We're gonna learn more of that in this book. Do you know what this book is? That's right, it's the Bible. The Bible is God's special book. And there are so many stories in this book about God's power. Today, we are going to see a story about Philip and the Ethiopian man. So let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible, Philip and the Ethiopian. This is Philip, Hello. who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Philip preached the good news of Jesus in many places. One day, an angel of the Lord spoke to him and said, go south down the desert road. I hear that. So Philip started out and he met the treasurer of Ethiopia. The man had gone to Jerusalem to worship and he was now returning to Ethiopia. He was in his carriage reading the book of Isaiah out loud. Hey there. The Holy Spirit said to Philip, go over and walk along beside the carriage. Okay, I can do that. Philip ran over and heard the man reading and asked, do you understand what you are reading? The man replied, how can I, unless someone teaches me? Come on up here. And he urged Philip to come up into the carriage and sit with him. Those parts here. The Ethiopian asked Philip, tell me, was Isaiah talking about himself or someone else? So beginning with this scripture in Isaiah, Philip told the Ethiopian the good news about Jesus. As they rode along, they came to some water. Wait, 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 hold on. And the Ethiopian said, look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? He ordered the carriage to stop. Stop. And they went down into the water and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away and took him to another town. The Ethiopian never saw Philip again, but went on his way rejoicing. Wow, what a cool story. Philip shared Jesus' love with the Ethiopian man because he had the Holy Spirit's help. The Holy Spirit helps us to learn more about God's love for us, and we can share the love of Jesus by telling others about him. Now, let's think a little bit more about that story as we color. We are coloring someone very special today from our Bible story. So grab your paper and your crayons and let's color with Gus. Hey everyone, it's Gus. It's time to draw. Today we're drawing this guy, the Ethiopian man from our Bible story. Okay, let's get started by making his cool hat. In the middle of the top of your paper, draw a tilted U. Like that. Now, draw some little hills on the top. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Next, let's draw the band on his hat by drawing two lines from the left to the right. Now let's work on his face. Draw a line from the right side of his hat down and make a little C for his ear. And then keep going with the line down. There you go. And for the other side of his face, let's do a curve down like this. Now, Draw a line across that connects from the left side to the right. There you go. Now let's do a little curve on the top right of his face for his hair. For his nose, we'll make a line in the middle of his face going down. Then from the top of that line, draw a slanted line down and then a line straight out. Then draw a curved line from the one end of the line over to the other side of his nose. It's time for his goatee. <laughs> That's a funny word. And draw a curved line down from his nose to his chin. And do the same thing on the other side. Now make a small rainbow in the middle, like this. Then connect the two bottoms of the rainbow with a straight line. And of course he needs a smile. 
fill it in. Good job. Now make two circles for his eyes. And then two smaller circles inside. And fill each one in. One. And two. We're almost done. We just have to add his earring. So do a U off the bottom of his ear and a smaller U inside. Woohoo! And there he is! That was fun! Thanks for drawing with me. Bye! All right, I am finishing up my drawing of the Ethiopian man. And here it is. <laughs> what do you think? I would love to see how your drawings turned out too. Hey, have your parents send us a picture so that we can see all of your amazing drawings. You know, as we were drawing the Ethiopian man, I was thinking about our Bible story. I was thinking about how Philip told the Ethiopian man about Jesus. And the Ethiopian man was able to believe in Jesus because Philip told him. We too can tell others about Jesus but we don't have to do it on our own. We have the Holy Spirit to help us. And I know that because of our Bible verse. Hmm, but there's a problem because our Bible verse is covered in bubbles. So grab your bubbles if you have them and let's pop bubbles with Bestos. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. Bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here and pop them by the side. you do? Did you get all the bubbles? Great! Well, now that we've popped all of our bubbles, we can see our Bible verse. It says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere. You know, Jesus said those words to his friends to remind them and us of the amazing power of the Holy Spirit. Because of the power of the Holy Spirit, we can tell other people about Jesus too. One great way we can tell other people about Jesus is by singing songs about him. So let's sing our Bible verse song together. Stand on up and let's sing Acts 1 8. Let's sing Acts 1 8 together. You guys, we're going to start by moving around like this and then we're going to clap our hands. You ready? All right, now this song is all about how God gave us the Holy Spirit. And when he did that, we got great power. So let's start by singing, you will receive power. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere. Sing out everywhere. Everywhere. Sing Acts 1-8. Alright you guys, it's time to dance. Let me see you move in. And can you clap your hands? Good job. And hands in the air. Good job. Alright you guys, we're going to sing that all over again, but you will receive power. Let's sing it out together. as loud as you 
you can. Acts 1 8, sing it out. Alright, you guys, now we're gonna get down really low. Can you guys go down really, really low? Good job, now let's bring it up. And everyone, let's jump! And let me see you dancing. Good job, let's sing, but you will receive power. As you can. Everywhere. Acts 1 8. Acts 1 8. Oh, 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 oh. All right, you guys, let's dance together. And can you clap your hands? And let me see you turn. And hands up. Great singing and dancing. You can sit down now. When we belong to God's family, we get the power of the Holy Spirit to help us do amazing things. The Holy Spirit's power can help us tell other people about Jesus, just like Philip told the Ethiopian man. I think I know someone who can help us learn more about the Holy Spirit. So let's put on our thinking caps and our listening ears and join Han in the lab. And I am Han. Welcome to my lab. Today, Han said we're going to get to do something really cool. Yes. Maddie, would you please choose a color? Um, green. Good choice. Now, put the green solution in the beaker. Okay. All right. Now what? Then, put the brown solution in the beaker and watch what happens. That is science, <laughs> and it is very powerful. You're right. Oh, but remember, though, there's another kind of power that's more powerful than any kind of science. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit? That's the special helper God sent us. But he doesn't make foam. Well, no, but the Holy Spirit does give us the power to tell others about Jesus. And how does he do that? The Holy Spirit helps us to learn more about God's love for us. The more we realize how much God loves us, the more we are filled with his love, just like this beaker was filled with foam. And then, when we have just so much of God's love that we are so excited that we just can't keep it to ourselves, we share that love with others by telling them about Jesus. I don't think that love is the same as foam, though. It doesn't pour out of us like foam. You can't even see love. <laughs> You're right, it's not the same. But, but this... This can still remind us of how we can share God's love with others. There are many people who don't know God. We can help them get to know God by bringing them to church or by telling them about how much Jesus loves them. I can do that through the power of the Holy Spirit, of course. <laughs> That's right, Han, you can. The Holy Spirit will always help us to be brave and to share Jesus' love with others. Now, I want to try one thing. What? I want to make something big happen. Uh, uh, Ma Maddie, I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Uh, these are very powerful elements. Oh, come on, Han. It'll be fun. Okay, but just don't use too many of the... Oh, wow! <laughs> that's amazing! Wow! Now that's science. <laughs> I suppose you are correct. Well, that's our science experiment for today. Thank you for joining us in my lab. Remember that you can share your love for Jesus with others. He loves you so much. As do we. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Wow, science is so powerful. But you know what? The Holy Spirit is even more powerful. The power of the Holy Spirit helps us to tell others about Jesus' love. 
In Han's lab, we got to see how Maddie was able to make the beaker start overflowing because of the special solution. That reminds us of what happens when we feel God's love for us. Love is not exactly like foam, but God gives us so much love so we can share that love with others. And we can share it by telling others about Jesus. And we can do that even at home. So let's start thinking, hmm, who is someone we can share God's love with today? Maybe it's our neighbor, a friend, perhaps someone in your family. You could tell a friend or a neighbor about Jesus' love. Or you could have your parent help you write, Jesus loves you in chalk on your sidewalk outside so that everyone walking by can be reminded that Jesus loves them. You know, you can even start by just saying a prayer to God, asking Him to make you brave and share Jesus with others, or show you someone who is sad and needs Jesus' love. So let's ask God to help us tell others about Jesus right now. Let's put five fingers here, five fingers there, put them together for a prayer. Let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit when we become part of your family. I pray that you would make me brave and help me to share the love of Jesus to everyone I know. I ask that you would help me to be creative with the way I tell others and show me who I can share that love with today. And in Jesus' name, we all say, Amen. Thank you so much for joining us at Church at Home. I have so loved being with you today. I hope that you have a great week, and we hope to see you next time. Bye.